Now today we will see how to parse CSV or Microsoft Excel file in Android Studio and we will take an example. Uh, you have to make a new empty project and then you have to copy uh, some CSV file. I have a sample.csv file in raw folder. Please understand you have to copy it or place it in a raw folder and then I will uh, I have already provided you maintain main this activity dot Java and you just have to copy this and I will show you and I will explain you the code. So what happens when you try to uh, you know read this csv file this is a kind of database file this is the folder we have a uh, folder raw folder and this we have this csv file so let me open it for you this has uh, this file has actually three columns if you can see three data first is the date second is the time and second uh, third is the height so what happens when you want to deal with um, uh, large data then you go to database and you have many queries then you go to database. Well, You have simple query then there is no point in going to database just have a CSV file make a CSV file and you can uh, you are good to go. So this is my excel file same same content with excel file first you have to convert it into CSV file comma separated value file for that you have excel file just go to export export and change the file type and go to CSV. CSV and just export it and name it and once you export it this is my sample because I already have on desktop sample so I am naming it as sample one and um, it will ask you for some formatting and etc stuff don't worry about that just save it and once you save it and you can just open it in notepad plus plus and this this is your data in CSV this is how you make your CSV file from an XML uh, Excel file Microsoft Excel file if you get some comma 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 stuff then just uh, uh, just uh, control F and control replace with uh, no space no nothing this will um, allow you to make a CSV file this only contain comma values means uh, first row will have values with, with separation with respect to comma now our uh, next task is that we need to copy them into a, our raw folder this csv we have made this is simple csv file and then we'll write this main activity dot java for that we have to go to our android studio and we'll make a simple project this is uh, our project let us start a new android studio project uh, and i just pressed it and i'm waiting for this android studio to start my uh, or make my empty empty project and meanwhile uh, while this Android Studio is, is favoring us, we'll go to the the content again. And one uh, one thing I would, would like to emphasize that if this content, if this CSV file has some trouble, means it has uh, you know some lack of data or or any other other content, means some special character, then it is not going to read. So you have to be very sure when you make this CSV file because it is not going to read. So this is our main activity dot java i am just opening it for you and uh, please believe me that it has just four or five lines which can make your csv to be read by the android application only only four or five lines so i have uh, researched in various um, it has so many stuff so many complexity so we have this string just we have a string data we have made and this you will already find it on create the input stream you have to very well see that open raw source in this open raw source uh, this uh, I'm just uh, trying to start the studio project and in a, in a short while it, it is going to open this is get resources dot open raw source raw r dot raw dot sample I have to make a raw folder then uh, this sample dot csv is the name of the sam sample dot csv csv file so whatever file you make you name it here and I want to show you the content in your uh, log, log cat only. Will not um, you know change anything to the activity XML. This is just for uh, information purpose. So this uh, log e log dot e will show you the content in your uh, log cat. So what happens here is we are we are reading we are reading the line one line per line uh, of that CSV and we are in this string and we are then splitting it with comma and this data 0 
which is data is the name of the string in which I am taking this data 0, data uh, 1 and data 2. So this data 0 is actually the date which I showed you. Data 0 will be the date, data 1 will be uh, the time and data 2 will be the height. So the project is being generated and once uh, we go to the project, we will show actual actual thing what is uh, what we have to do in our project. So this is our project. We have made an empty project and now this is our project. Now let us go to the, the project structure and in this under resources, you see a drawable, drawable uh, folder and layout and with map and values. Now you have to have a raw folder. If you have no raw folder, you have to cop make a raw folder. But I, I, I will al al already provide you this raw folder. So you just copy it and this is being provided to you. Just right click on the raw, raw or uh, res folder, right click on the res folder and just paste it. Because this raw, this raw will co is containing a sample.csv file. I have already made it. So it will be shown in your uh, Android and you can see and you can uh, verify once again that every every content and each content is good. I am just deleting the last time. This is not mandatory. Just to, just to be sure that it should not read while you know it will check for the null while the read line will be null. So I am just uh, copying this main activity stuff and pasting it below your package name. The package name will be yours and other stuff will be uh, what I am providing you. Otherwise, if you don't want to uh, copy or paste it, just hold and try to type what the content you see on the screen. Now uh, we have this file ready. Let me run it for you. Okay. And on this log cat, I am not showing it you it on emulator because I have not I have not done anything. I have not made an edit text. I have not made any list view. But just to prove the idea that you can take it. This is just a string in which we are taking. You can take it to your edit text or um, button also you can place. So I am initializing this ADB. Meanwhile, this uh, while this project is running, you have to find out the log cat. Log cat. See on the left hand side, log cat. So this is showing you what is happening. What is happening while your project is running? And uh, once this is completed, once this uh, work is done, you will surely see that data zero I have given. So you will see the dates from first first uh, row to the last row you will see all the dates once this project is completed and I'll try to show you not only the dates but the height and the time also uh, once this is completed let me show you logcat.e and um, it's quite easy just by by uh, this these are the dates if you can if you can uh, see on the bottom side these are the dates various dates these are the various dates which we we read read from our csv file and we tried to show it or uh, print it in this log.e now uh, i will comment the first line and the second line i will uncomment and i'll show you data 0 data 1 and data 2 that means i want to show you not only the date but also the second and third column means second and third data so if you can see that first is the date second is the the time and third is the height uh, if you want it to be more clear let me place a space for you and again run it and now this will be more clear and separated values not by com comma because i have read it individually and tried to show it uh, to you on logcat see these are these are the dates and time and uh, height so this is this is the way how you read from a csv file only few lines you need to read exactly if, if you can count these are well, only seven or eight lines. This is actually uh, showing you in log cat so it will not be a part. These two lines and these um, the below lines buffer reader uh, and input stream and just string csv line and uh, csv dot read line.